Our next speaker became one of the fastest millionaires in the insurance industry in under three years. Let me hear you if you've been in the business under three years. Let me hear you if you've been in the business more than three years. Were you a millionaire inside of three? One of the fastest millionaires in the history of insurance. He's building his team by over 100 agents a month now. He added 57 licensed agents to his team last week. And he's already a living legend. The owner of the Price Group from Florida to Dallas, Texas. Please give me a standing ovation, a ton of applause for my favorite people in the whole space that's gonna talk about how you can become a faster millionaire too. Mr. David Price. Jury at the bank down the vault. You should have never doubted me. I'ma work to my last breath. I'ma hustle to my last breath. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now you should have never doubted me. The pain and the struggle followed me. My daddy never been that bothered me. Yes. And these cold streets made a man of me. Yes. Through a time it'll come, they doubt me. Had to keep them OGs around me. Keep a young, young on me grounded. You never know where your motivation to come from We do the most with these bras and pop shine done They try to push you beside, you gotta fight some I had a line on the thigh, and now we buy guns I want that number on my spot, I'm like icon I got that beast in my eyes, I'm like Tyson With my heart in my Ladies mind. and gentlemen, David Price! Say, good, good morning, we got five more minutes left, man Good morning, everyone Welcome to 8%. Man, this is, this is amazing. What do you guys think so far? Man, I wanna put a big, big shout out to Cody Askins. His team, I mean, could, could he, they put on a party or what? I mean, this, this has gotta be one of the, the best events, if not the best event I've ever been at. And uh, the people, right, are just, just amazing and you know, just really grateful for Cody, their team. You know, I was doing pretty well before, you know, me and Cody started talking, man. But uh, I can say, man, life's just been a little bit, a little bit easier, a little bit nicer, plugging into Cody and his team, man. And, and I think you guys all know that. And I think that's why you guys are all here. Wouldn't you agree? So my name's David Price. And we're going to talk about building a business today. Anyone here build, wants to build a business? Right, the business is what's going to give you the freedom. You know, my, my goal, right, my goal, I didn't wake up one day and say, man, I just, you know, I just really, 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 really want to sell insurance. Right? It just didn't happen. But my whole life, I was like, man, I want a lot of freedom. I want a lot of nice things. I want to go places when I want. And I want to figure out how to do that. And that was my search my entire life, right? Did I know how to do it? No. Was I willing to keep on working and failing to figure it out? Yes. Do I think I hit the jackpot finally? Absolutely. Did it take work? Yes. Was it easy? Absolutely not, right? And anyone in here that got on the stage, they're gonna tell you, you know, the same thing over and over again. Fail fast. Work hard, stay committed, keep your mindset correct. They're gonna tell you a lot, a lot of things. Um, and, and it's cool, right? It's cool listening to those stories. Like, yeah, I know that story, I know that story, right? Yes, I, I lived in a, in a single wide trailer with two bedrooms with five people when I was a kid. Yes, I lived in a hotel, you know, as a kid with my family. Yes, I was living homeless shelters. Yes, I know, I know, I know those pains. Yes, I ran really, really hard to, to get away from that. Um, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. So 426 2018 I had to look up to make sure I gave you guys the right date. I feel like the best thing you could do in this business is always be 100% honest with people. Right? The last thing I want anyone ever to be, to be able to say is David Price told me something and I found that it wasn't true. Because the minute I do that, you guys aren't going to trust anything else I say. Right? That's the one thing as humans, right? Really, really, really good at finding things wrong. Right? We're really good at judging things. 
and I want to make sure. So I had to look up the date. I thought it was 5-1, so it was actually 4-26-2008. 5-1, I did get contracted with Senior Life Insurance Company. Um, got my license, knew absolutely nothing. I sell final expense insurance, and I, I didn't even know what final expense insurance really was. Again, I wasn't so caught up on the product to sell. I was caught up on, was there a need that wasn't being met, and could I help other people meet that need? And then, if I decided to scale and build a giant sales team, could I do the same thing with them? Right, because that's a really good spot to be in if you want to create a business that gives you freedom. Right, supply and demand, you know, and we'll talk about that some more. June 2019, my agency hit $100,000 a month, not counting my production. Right, final expense, small policies, a lot of policies. Um, super excited at the time, still excited about it, and that was the time I was like, okay, I'm a business owner now. And it gave me an opportunity to stop working in my business and start working on my business. My business didn't depend on me getting paid by me doing something, right? So that's where the freedom starts, but that's also where the hard work and the journey really began. 2020, my agency, all final expense, we did $3.6 million in production, right? Thank you. That was awesome, right? So that was, uh, so that was my first, no, that was my second, second full year in the business. Um, we did like one point something million my first full year, full calendar year, right? January to December. And then 2021, we did four million, right? We had a little bit of growth, but we didn't have the growth we've been used to, the growth we've been having. And that's something I'm gonna talk about late, later on, right? So, so keep, keep a mental note at that. But what I really like to talk about is 2022, because that's where we're at right now. Um, we, we already have issued over $4 million in business. Um, I'm already on pace. If I don't hire another agent or have absolutely no more growth, I'm on pace to make well over a million dollars in overrides. Right? Which means in my sleep, why I'm here, why I'm in Costa Rica, why I'm handling family business, in overrides, right? Residual income at that point. And that's, that's the freedom, right? That's the freedom I worked hard for. That's the freedom I wanna show you guys how to do, right? I wanna show you guys how to, how to do exactly what I did. Everyone that knows me well, knows I'm open book. I'll give you the blueprint. If you're willing to follow it, that's, that's a whole nother story. So I'm gonna go through these slides. I don't know if I'll finish, I might get sidetracked, but if you want these slides that I'm gonna go through, just text 888-779-1904, uh, text slides to there, and we'll, we'll get you these slides um, in case I, I don't finish, or in case I go through them too fast for you. See one more time. There we go. All right, so my journey. So again, I started as a single producer, knew nothing about the business. I knew I wanted to grow a business, and that is what I started doing, right? I knew that it was gonna be hard. I knew I needed to get more activity in than anyone else because I wanted to be way ahead of where everyone else was. So how do you do that? I gotta outwork them. That's the thing. So I was a field agent. If somebody's, I'm thinking, knock, if someone's beating me and they're knocking on 20 doors a day, I gotta figure out how to knock on 21 or more. Like, that's it, that's the way to catch up. It's like if somebody were in Dallas, Texas, and we're driving back to Springfield, Missouri, and Cody's driving and he's doing 60 miles an hour and he's got a head start on me, how do I beat him? I gotta go faster than 60 miles an hour and hopefully I can catch him before he gets to Springfield, right? Real simple, activity, out activity people, that's it. I will out activity all of you. Right? I will outwork you guys, those things I can control. You may be better at selling than me, you might have a better network, you might have more friends than me, you might be a smoother talker than me, but I can control my work ethic and I'm gonna work on outworking outwork, you. Right? In 12 months, I became, like I said, a seven-figure agency owner. In the last six months, we, we've literally doubled in size in six months. Crazy, amazing, like super excited about it, and the growth hasn't plateaued yet. We're, we're at our best month. So January, I hit 405,000 issue production for the first time. I was 100% thrilled about that. I'm at like 860,000 this month with, with today to go, right? We still got today. So again, double your agency in six months. When you weren't too, doing too bad before is, is definitely a blessing. 
And you know, it, it's my team. My team is amazing. They, they, the culture we've built, the, the trust that they put in me, you know, it's, I definitely couldn't do it without my team, right? It, it, it's not me. So, you know, just like Cody's team is just absolutely amazing. You know, like get yourself a good team, build yourself a good team and take care of that good team, right? That's how you keep the good team. So I got a seven step system I wanna go over with you. Vision, you gotta, you gotta really know what you, what you wanna do. Um, lead source, proven, make sure you find a proven system. We're gonna go over these uh, one by one. Learn that proven system, then teach that proven system then duplicate it, and then you teach other people to duplicate, right? And that's when the magic starts happening, right? So if you see, my production went from 3.6 to 4 million over a 12-month period. It wasn't lack of work, it wasn't lack of effort. I was in the teach to duplication stage, right? When you teach to duplicate, right, if I'm training an agent and he's a top producer and he's issuing $30,000 a month, and I take that agent, I'm like, all right, cool, I'm gonna show you how to build now. I'm gonna give you some agents to mentor and train what happens to their production. It goes down, right? And as a manager collecting overrides, most people don't wanna lose that income because they don't see further down the road. So I was willing to lose that income to put my managers, soon to be managers, in a better place. So that's why our production halted for a little bit and then skyrocketed. So again, vision. Vision is so, so important, man. I mean, again, I'm gonna pick on you today, Cody, man. You're right in front of me. I mean, Cody's vision, is Cody's vision amazing? I mean, the things he pulled off, who would like the ultimate agent? Dude, I saw Cody post about the ultimate agent and I was like, I am getting involved with this. Cody, what do I gotta do? I was sending him letters, telegrams, having people cold knocking on his door. Hey, just let you know, Cody, David wants to be part of the ultimate agent. Um, definitely wanted to be a part of that. So glad I got to be a part of that. But again, like the vision to, to do that, right? Like, and you want to plug into people who have vision like that, right? You, you want to like, you want people to like be like, oh, yeah, right. I mean, I was talking to Cody the other day. I was like, Cody, so what's the end game? He's like billionaire. I'm like, well, that, that wasn't my end game, but I think I knew I, I, I need a new end game now. I can't. He's, Cody's gonna be a billionaire. I need to be a billionaire. All right, I guess I'm gonna work a lot longer than I thought. I thought I was retiring at 50. Right? But you want people to push you. You want people to constantly push you and make you do more. Make sure that it's precise what you wanna accomplish. You know, for the longest time, my, my goal has been to do a million dollars a month in production. I dreamt about that, I thought about that when I woke up, I thought about that before I went to sleep. I knew exactly what I had to do to, to make that happen. I knew how many people I had to hire, how many people I had to empower. I knew exactly what, what it was. That was my vision, that was my destination. That is where I was going. It was crystal, crystal clear. And I, I think next month's gonna be the month. I think, I think we're, we're gonna pull together and we're gonna do it next month and I'm, I'm super excited about that. I remember when I wanted to hire 100 people a month and everyone thought I was crazy. I was hiring like 30 people a month at the time, right? Again, it was my Wi-Fi password. You wanna use my Wi-Fi, 100 hires a month. That was my, that's my Wi-Fi password, right? Any, I put that around anywhere, anything that I could think about. My girl would ask me a question about something I really did, didn't have the answer to and didn't, I, was like, I was like, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out how to hire 100 people a month. Once I figure that out, I could answer this question on about your shoes, I'm sorry. Right, I became obsessed with that number because I knew what that number was gonna do was gonna give me the million dollars a month in production, right? So, so, so I, I knew how those numbers correlated. Um, and I hope you guys text slides to 877-779-1904 uh, because I'm definitely gonna run out of time before I finish these. Um, so make sure it's measurable. And again, like your house, like if you, if you want a nice house, like don't, I want a nice house, like I know what neighborhood I wanna live in, I know I want it to be on the water, I know I wanted to not have another house on the other side that like I'm looking at people's backyards and we're looking at each other's backyards, right? I know about how much that costs in that area. I know how much the mortgage is gonna be on that, right? On Sunday, I go through Zillow and I, and I look at these things and I get real clear about what I'm going. Like you, you need to be working for something, right? You, you can't just be like out there wondering. 
right? Like, like you got to know where you're going, what you're trying to do, what you want to accomplish. You have to be so clear about it. You, you feel like I get goose prompts. I get nervous. Like I, I understand. And Cody's shaking his head because I know he does because he can imagine this room with 100,000 people in it. He knows it's his future. He knows he just has to walk through the path to get there because he's doing every single thing in his power to accomplish that, right? It's the same thing. Like, what is it you want to accomplish? You know, at first you might just need to be a producer that could issue $10,000 a month. There's nothing wrong with that, dude. Feel that, write that, talk about that, put it into existence, but more importantly, be willing to do what it takes to do it. Don't make excuses why you can't do it and start making excuses of why you can do it. Constantly expand your vision, right? Super important, man. Don't Listen, if you're not growing, you're shrinking. And if you don't take anything serious that you heard from me to say, that is the best advice I could give you. Like, if you're not constantly trying to grow, you're shrinking. You know, it, it, it's so important, man. And this is something, this like actually hit me like last week, you know. I, I've been playing in this, this realm of what other people have accomplished. Right, what the largest, I wanna be the largest final expense agency in the country, right? That's my goal, I'm very clear about it. And I know what that agency does now in production and I'm trying to like match that number, or beat that number slightly. And then I realized, why am I letting someone else's activities or results mess with my belief system? If he's doing 50 million a year, why can't I do 150 million a year? Why, why do I have to limit myself to that? I, I, I feel like I have a better system and a better opportunity. So why am I letting other people? So don't let your belief system be limited by what others have accomplished. Lead source. Again, we talked about building a business earlier here, and, and I think this is super important. Your lead source is your supply, right? And I'm gonna give you my example. Doesn't have to be your example, but my example was I have access to more final expense insurance leads than I can possibly handle or any sales team that I build can handle, right? So what do I have? I have a huge demand in people looking for final expense insurance, right? So what do I sell? Well, I think mortgage protection would be fun to sell. It doesn't make sense in, in now the opposite, if I had more mortgage protection leads than I could possibly handle, and I have no access to good final expense leads, what should I sell, right? People get so caught up on the product instead of helping the people that need help. Listen, if Cody called me up and he's like, David, I got these special balloons. I don't know what the deal is, but we have thousands of people calling for these balloons. I need you to help me build a sales team to sell these special balloons. I would be in the balloon business if the numbers worked out, right? So many agents I talk to and they're like, yeah, you know, I, I think I want to sell Medicare. I'm like, okay, cool. What do you know about Medicare? Nothing. Okay. Do you have a good lead source? No. Okay. Do you have somebody that can mentor you and teach you how to do it? Well, no, not really. Okay, what do you do now? So final expense. Okay, do you have leads? Yes. Do you have a mentor that teaches you how to do it? Yes. Okay, can you explain how that makes sense? <laughs> and this is a big one. Don't try to be a marketer and an insurance agent together, right? Again, if you wanna make Facebook leads, Make Facebook leads and sell, get in the Facebook lead selling business. If you want to sell insurance, sell insurance and let somebody else in that business do it for you. Right? Again, supply and demand. Proven system. This is super important. Like, I, listen, people get so caught up on the company, right? Oh, I should work for this company or that company or that company. Okay, who's your mentor going to be? Do they follow a proven system and can they teach you the proven system? You know, what's more important, the company or the person personally mentoring you? Right? Best company in the world, you have a part-time agent that don't really know what they're doing and that's your mentor. Do you feel like you're gonna have the same chance of success of somebody who's had a ton of success in a substandard company? Right, the, the, the mentor is a lot more important and 
And I think that's where the focus should be. Somebody that has what you want, that can show you how to get it. The, the rest of the stuff is just details. So find a system that you know works before, because you have a direct access to someone successful using it, and when in question, refer back to the system. Listen guys, no matter what system you follow, no matter what company you're at, it is going to be hard. Right? Has anyone here made multi six figures in an easy way without something hard? If you do, let me know. No one quiet, right? It's going to be hard. Understand it's going to be hard. And that doesn't mean, oh man, this got hard. Let me try something different. That's what everyone does, right? It's going to get hard. Embrace it. Walk through it. Deal with it. And dominate it. Just dominate. The, just, just embrace the suck. Listen, I almost quit this business six months in. Real seriously, almost quit. I used to do hurricane business. Hurricane Michael hit the panhandle. I'm like, man, there's so much money to be made there. But again, it wasn't a scalable business to, that was gonna give me the freedom I wanted. And I almost quit and I decided not to. And if I did, my story would have been, yep, I got my insurance license for six months and then I quit. Now my insurance is I made a million dollars in three years and will make over a million dollars my fourth year in the business in my sleep. So I'm running out of time here. So what I'm going to do, I'm doing a breakout session tomorrow. It's going to be in Cortez A at 920 in the morning. And what I'm going to do is we're going to go through the nuts and bolts of how to double your agency side in six size in six months. And I'll be doing questions and answers if you want to show up there. We'll go over the rest of the, uh, we'll go over the rest of these things. And if you want to connect with me, I don't normally do this as something I'm doing special for the event, but I am going to take some coaching calls, uh, hourly coaching calls. You go to my website, davidpriceofficial.com. If you do it while we're at this event and you buy an hour, I'll give you a second hour for no charge. And again, if you want these slides, because I didn't absolutely finish them at all, and I apologize for that. I should have probably practiced some more. Um, but, you know, Cody knows, but we just go out and make it happen, man. If it works, it works. If not, we adjust, right? And that's how you're successful as an entrepreneur. Um, but yeah, text slide to 888-779-1904. Breakout room tomorrow, 920, Cortez A. I hope to see everyone. Super pumped up. And again, man, let's thank Cody and his team for putting on this amazing event. Because this takes some work. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're going to love. It's right there. Click on it. See you in there. I'm so excited for today's CA Power Player Podcast. I'm your host, Cody Askins. We got a special guest. He is back on the channel talking about how to sell life insurance from home. Here's what I, well, here's what I love about this person. Okay, I'm telling you, this will be the, one of the best.